Cyclone Bilal heads towards Mauritius and Audi Union. Cyclone Balal has continued its intensifying and is now a high in Category 1 on the South of Simpson Hurricane Wind Scale, with now a position of 19.7 degrees south and 53.4 degrees east. The Cyclone currently has a wind speed of 90 miles per hour, that is what we gave it, and a pressure of 973 millibars, and is moving at south south east at 205 degrees at 5 miles per hour. This is latest at 4pm in Port Louis on January 14th, 2024. So the wind quadrants of the storm looks like this is 80 nautical miles to the northeast, 85 nautical miles to the southeast, 75 to the southwest, and 90 to the northwest. So we currently have a class 1 warning in for Mauritius as the storm will slowly head towards that island, and we also have an orange alert for Lava Union, and the red alert will be ongoing from 8 pm so their local time. So distances of kilometers is 376 from St. Denis. 394 from La Reunion itself, 457 from Port Louis, and 639 from Antananarivo. So Force 13, we currently have it at 90 miles per hour, and the JTWC are going for 80. It's on the top left corner there, you can see the JTWC showing Balal. It's on the bottom left corner there. So the forecast cone shows it Continuing south with a little bend and then heading towards uh, Lauda Union before then passing by Mauritius, not making a direct landfall as to be expected, and then heading off to the south east and will slowly decrease in sort of intensity as it heads that direction. So then, the sea surface temperatures of the storm look like this. They are very, very good for the north side of the storm, however, it is currently heading south and it's Pretty good temperatures, you can see uh, the red marks the 28, 26 degrees temperatures and the lower yellows mark the 24-ish, so it's pretty good. The multi-model diagnostic comparison shows this, the intensity is expected to go peak by 15th and the 16th and then dip as it slowly heads towards the southeast and the deep later shear is supposed to really increase and that probably will show the uh, dip inside of intensity. And then the track is very very similar and the sea surface temperatures will we have all models show there's going to be a dip between the 15th and the 16th. And that is all for this update.